Hey, it's me, Javine. Welcome back to Let's 100% Fallout New Vegas, ladies and gentlemen. I'm restarting this recording because I went on too long, as I usually do. I'm a, ver I'm a verbose... Is there any noun that starts with V that I could have, could have, you know, done some alliteration there? I'm not sure. Anyways, it went on too long, and I know people are going to get on my case about it. And that brings me to my first point as we start up this new week of Let's 100% Fallout New Vegas. I'm going to stop asking for so much feedback. Um, I do appreciate the feedback that I get. I really do. I mean, I asked for it. You know, I did the community tab thing, and I asked for some feedback. But I, I thought about it, and it's like, I didn't ask for feedback ever, basically, with the Skyrim series, which seems to be everybody's favorite. Uh, you know, it's the most viewed series on my channel. It's just, it's the one that everybody always wants me to do another series of, which I don't understand. You want me to 100% Skyrim again? Like, it's just going to be worse than the first time, because I've <laughs> already done it. But, um... Anyways, I didn't really ask for feedback, I just did my own thing, I was confident, and it came out to be a really good series, in my opinion. And I think feedback and constructive criticism is really good, obviously it can help you to be a better content creator, or whatever it is that you're doing. But, um, the problem with it, the problem with asking for too much, is that people nitpick. People nitpick. And that's always been an issue with Let's Plays, and nothing new there, right? I mean, oh my god, what the hell? Well, good luck, Cass. Cass is back. <laughs> Cass is back there somewhere. Uh, how the hell? Wow, great. I managed to run into the one rock in the entirety of the wasteland. Cool beans, dude. Um, anyways. So, what happens if you ask for too much feedback is that people nitpick. And with Let's Plays, it's always been an issue. Doesn't matter if you're literally the best Let's Player in the entire world. I'm not saying that I am. I'm just saying it doesn't matter how good your Let's Plays are. People are always going to nitpick and want you to play the way... Oh my god, my cats are going nuts in the other room. Freaking Greyjoy always- Alright, give me a second. Jeez, what a cluster truck of a first episode. Okay, got some Legion of Sat- Go! Oh! Ow! Hey! Calm down! No, why do you zoom in on the guy in the way back? You! Okay, we got some Legionary Assassins here. Don't even think about it. Shoot your gun, Avery! What? Shoot your gun! Take 20 years to shoot your gun! What are you doing? Oh boy, alright, this is- Wow, uh, 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 I knew these guys were going to be here, because like I said, I already recorded, uh, yeah, what are you doing? Go to stats. I already recorded, I shouldn't have used that doctor's bag. Oh boy, alright, alright, alright. Got that weapon right out of his hand. Give me some, oh jeez, okay, hold on. Shouldn't have gone for the head since it's already crippled probably, but whatever. Oh man, alright, this is, this is not so. We need to get around this rock, get our AP back. Yeah, these legionary assassins are not as easy as the previous ones. Um, oh boy. Uh, Cass is unconscious. Wonderful. What do we do here, man? I don't even know. Um, let's let them get closer. Use our vats. They are keeping their distance, though. Oh, gee. Oh! All right. Let's see. What do we got here? We got this fella. Uh, not too much vats. We can go for his left arm, at least. Maybe hope for a critical. Oh, the Mysterious Stranger. Very nice. There. Okay, so there's the Mysterious Stranger. We have yet to see him. Don't you just love being locked in a VAT screen taking damage and you can't do freaking anything about it? Isn't that the best feeling on Earth? Let's pop a stim pack. Uh, we're going to wait for our AP to recharge. Haven't really mentioned it, but oh! In the bottom right, we have our AP. We have another Legionary Assassin here with a wolf head. And I'm going to spam that right trigger. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, there's the bloody mess perk. Oh my god. Okay. 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 We can make it out. This guy's just a small, lowly, disgusting assassin. Okay, his head's been crippled. Jeez. That did not go well the uh, the first time, by the way. Um, that went far worse than that, just so you know. Okay, god. <laughs> um, okay. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is, look, I think I'm a good video maker. I think that I can do a good job when I'm at my best, when I'm, um, I don't know, when I'm in a, a good mentality to be able to make content. So I'm going to stop asking for so much feedback. I'm going to stop relying on feedback. I think it has a negative effect after a certain point. I think that um, as a video creator, you get too caught up, uh, you worry about too many things, and it's like, dude, I never had to worry about that stuff 
previously. I was just doing my thing. I was just enjoying video games, making my videos. And this day and age, I know how to make a video far better than I did during the Skyrim, you know, series. So, point is, I appreciate your feedback. But it op when I ask for too much of it, it opens up just Let's Plays to be nitpicked to death. Because everybody wants you to play the, the, the game the way that they play. And, you know, wouldn't you know it, Bethesda games, Fallout, and, and you know, Elder Scrolls games... Uh, there's a million ways to play. So all I ask is, please, let me just play the way that I play. It's how I enjoy it. And, and please, just don't nitpick the small stuff. Everybody does it for every single one of my series. And I know me just saying this is not gonna, you know, not gonna make it stop. And that's fine. I understand that. But it's like, just let me play the way that I want to play. It's gonna make the best Let's Play. Trust me. Just trust me. It's all gonna be okay if I don't pick up that one piece of ammo that you saw. It's, it's, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. All right, that's all I wanted to say. I appreciate the feedback, but I'm gonna start stop asking for so much, um, and you know, just just focus on making the videos that I know I can make. Okay, that, that's all I'm trying to say. All right, so we're doing heartache by the number. Pay respects with Cassid or Caravan's grave. Well, it's right over here. That's what I was walking towards this entire time. I wasn't walking towards nothing, as I'm sure some people thought I was. God, there's almost nothing left. Looks like whoever it was was just in the mood for killing. Most of the cargo's ash, too. Not burn looks like... disintegrated. When I heard the reports, I assumed ash meant burned. So close to the Vegas wall, too. Don't that beat all. Must have happened during the day, though. They hadn't made a camp. Okay, time for... Oh, did I not mention this? Also, the accents. I'm gonna not do the accents anymore. Uh, mainly just because I... Uh, I, I can't be consistent with it. It comes in and out. Sometimes it comes out the way that I want it to. Other times I just forget how to do it and it comes out sounding really silly. A lot of people don't seem to like it and I'm not stopping because of that reason. It, it's a part of it, I'll be honest, but it's just mainly because I can't be consistent with it. So I was thinking of maybe trying some other southern accents and if, it, if I can't just find one that works, then, you know, we'll just go normal and I'll just do my normal voice. So let's try it now. Why would they have done it during the day? Now, see, it's... Ah, I can't do it. It's too much in my head now. Why would they have done it during the day? No idea. Maybe catch the sun in their eyes? Maybe they wanted the caravan to come to them. Walk into an ambush. We should check the wagon. They may not have got everything. Whatever we find, it's yours. Least I can do for hoofing it all this way with me. Okay, that works for me. We got an ash pile here with 120 bottle caps. Not bad. Some mentats. Thank you. Uh, we've got a pack brahmin here with a... With a leaf blower. Some whiskey. Yum yum deviled eggs. No thanks. Uh, we have got a... You know what? What happened in my caravan? Not the first time I've heard about an attack like that. One of our caravans got hit a few months back. And the caravan been burned too. Along with the cargo. I wonder if he made the same mistake. And that other caravan got hit with energy weapons, too. Wanna go check it out? See, that's the, <laughs> that's close to the original Avery. Yeah. It's a ways, though. Hell of a detour. You sure? Let's go. Alright, then. Let's move out. Probably try to practice it off camera too, you know. Um, I just need to practice if I'm gonna do an accent or a weird thing or a voice or whatever. I need to practice it off camera, make sure I can do it, pretty much. Uh, make sure it sounds good to me and also, it, you know, I can replicate it every time, basically. Okay, so that's the first caravan. Investigate the wreckage of the Griffin Wares caravan with Cass. And I guess I didn't really mention, you know, we're doing Cass's uh, uh, side quest. Uh, you know, her, her companion quest, by the way. Um, so yeah, uh, as I've been mentioning, as I've been sort of hinting at, by the way, we need to switch to a different weapon. This thing is about to break on us. Uh, do, uh, yeah, Wazer Wifle. There we go. Also, everybody was saying how good the Rat Slayer was. It does actually have critical bonuses or something. I did hear a comment, though, that it also is a noob trap. So I'm not sure. Um, when I play these, you know, Fallout games, these Bethesda games, these Elder Scrolls games, it's not about min-maxing for me. It's not about, you know, dealing the highest DPS. I find that silly. Uh, you'd go for it if you want to do it. It's your playthrough. But I'm saying, I find that silly to go for it in a single-player game. It's like, <laughs> who cares? It's single-player. Like, who are you impressing? The, these, these robotic, you know, NPCs? 
Uh, I prefer to go for the interesting stuff. I always have and I always will. Uh, unique weapons, unique armor. Where is this leading me, by the way? Uh, it's like over here, yet it's telling me the quest marker is going into Sunset Sarsaparilla. Okay, thanks for that. That's completely useless. Uh, anyways, my point is, um, yeah, you know, I, it's not about DPS for me, man. It's about using interesting weapons, interesting armor, cool-looking weapons, cool-looking armor. So that's that's my play style. But you do whatever you want to do. But uh, anyway, so yeah, all the all the comments, you know, GV, make sure to go for this. It's the highest damage thing in the game. It's not about damage. It's not about damage. It's about interesting stuff. Uh, but I do appreciate the help. Um, so anyways, a lot of people were saying that the uh, Rat Slayer had some bonus critical damage or something. Um, are we going the right way, by the way? Yeah. Uh, but I heard one thing saying it was a noob trap. I'm not sure. Uh, the reason I bring this up is because I don't look into the damage. I don't look into the, you know, like, oh, God, is this thing going to be able to kill everything in one hit? As long as something's workable, I'm fine with that. Speaking of, we do need a new energy weapon here because this laser rifle and the uh, the other one, the plasma rifle, are on its last legs. Uh, all right. I'll see you all once we get to wherever we're going. All right, as we're coming up here, another thing has been everybody wants longer episodes. My recording schedule is really tight. Uh, I stream a lot on Twitch, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, five hours at a time. Also, of course, going to the gym and everything else in my personal life. It's hard to record more Fallout New Vegas than I do right now. Uh, the demand seems to be very high, though. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just... I'm at an extremely high risk of burnout if I do 45-minute episodes and stuff. Everybody seems to want it, but I just don't see how it would be feasible. You know what I mean? Um, if I could find a way, maybe so. But I also want to work on other projects, too, uh, outside of this channel. Um, so just, you know, I, I have the tendency to really be interested in starting up. Where are we going, by the way? Okay, up here. I have, a, I have an interest in starting things up and, you know, often to... Oh, no, 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 no. That, oh, that is not good. That's about the worst case scenario right there. Oh, God. It, Cazadors are manageable if you see them early. Ugh. Why is that? Jeez, oh, so many Cazadors these past episodes, man. All right, come on, Cass. Over this way. We don't have to deal with that garbage over there. Just, I want to avoid burnout because that's when I make terrible videos. So, that's what I'm trying to say. We are going to make a new save. Right now. Ooh, big ass. Thumbnail right there, by the way. All right, come on, Cass. Right over here. Ugh, there's Cazadors everywhere. All right, what do you have to say? Say say whatever say whatever it is. More energy weapons hit this caravan. The place has been picked clean. This is Brotherhood-level murder here. But they don't do things like that. This was done with a purpose. Let's poke around a bit, see what we can find. Might be something in the wreckage. Gosh, if only we had a clue. If only we had a sort of clue. Any clue at all. Huh. Okay. <laughs> all right, what do we got? Uh, let's see. Empty. Coffee mug, fancy lad snacks, iron, and some whiskey. What's that? Looks like a map. Got the route along the west of Vegas, and they've marked another spot. Over here along this stretch. That's fucked up middle of nowhere want to check it out that's a joke want to check it out yeah something's wrong i can feel it it's not any closer than the first so if you'd rather let be let me know we'll make the time all right then let's move out Okay, uh, yeah, can you actually let me, like, search this stuff, though? Because if there is energy weapon stuff, you know, I could make use of that. Scrap elect. What are we looking for the sensor module? We still have not found one. Gosh. I know we can, like, just look it up and go find one. I know. But I'm trying to, you know, I want to, like, find one on our way somewhere. Which I Ooh, plasma rifle. Hell to the yes. That's exactly what we needed to find, actually. Uh, ash pile here with some medics. You know, we'll take the medics. Thank you. Um... Okay, where we go? Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and repair that plasma rifle. Um, that's still really not a lot, but it's better than this, I guess. Plus, we have more. Oh, no, they use the same type of ammo. Okay. Um, all right, so before we do that, we'll grab this thumbnail really quick. It's just so gosh darn purdy. Bad guys won't see us coming. Uh, yeah, don't say that because there's Cazadors everywhere and you're going to scare me. Can you just relax for a second? Uh, okay, let's do this.
And there we are. Thank you very much. Okay, where are we going, Cass? Ooh, all the way over. Man, okay. God, these are... If only they were a little bit closer to each other. Would have been a New Vegas medical clinic. Okay, yeah, that's outside. Got to be careful when you're fast traveling around the strip just because there's crap everywhere and you're not going to know if you're locked into a interior if it's near the strip sometimes. You know what I mean? Also, uh, everybody was saying I was calling the uh, one companion the wrong name. I don't even remember. Is her name Veronica or what was... I don't even remember her name now. It, it, there's, it's too... Similar length names that start with a V, and everyone's getting on my case about it. Look, I don't use companions! Gosh! I don't know how many times I gotta say that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know her name because I never use companions. I used them once in my first playthrough to do all their stuff. Why is this illegal? I used them once, you know, to do all the things in my first playthrough, and then every time after that, I never use them because I hate having companions. I hate it. So, yeah, I don't know her name. I'm sorry. All right, what do we got? I what? Is this the right thing? What is it doing? It's telling me to go to some weird ass. All right. It's fine. Yeah, I don't use companions. If you're new around here, I do not use companions. I hate companions. Uh, I, I think in every fit in every single game, pretty much, they take away from the experience. Uh, I don't like it. Also, I don't know why my quest markers are leading me to interiors that I don't want to go into. That's very odd. So yeah, yeah, be patient with me if I don't know, you know, some, I don't know that girl's name is because I only did her quest line once and I never basically touched her ever again. Not that I touched her to begin with. Uh, hello, say something. Vodka. Everything has like one thing of, uh, of alcohol. Uh, where, where are we going? You're gonna have to help me out here, Cass, because my quest markers are completely messed up. Another caravan burned, except someone made camp here and I never heard about this attack. Let's look around. Something stinks. Probably the charred corpses, but, you know, that's just me. Uh, we've got a Van Graaff thug here who has some combat armor. Also a bomb. Ooh, oh, hell yeah. We can make use of all that garbage. Uh, we are going to equip that, and we are going to repair that. And then we're going to... Oh, nice. I didn't realize it keeps the... Uh... It keeps the slot if it's the same... Even if it's a different weapon that you, you know, used to repair. Also, we have combat armor reinforced mark, too. But I'll tell you what, we can repair that with the normal combat armor. Isn't that great? And we have two combat helmets. Oh, one combat. No, I just read that wrong. Okay, neat. Uh, thanks, buddy. You had exactly what I needed. That's awesome. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Huh, can you put two and two together, Cass? What could be happening here? I wonder... Uh, ooh, leather armor. Uh, we could take that and repair, and a leather, leather, <laughs> leather action shotgun. Um, we're gonna repair this leather armor with that one. And we're gonna take this guy's combat armor, all of his stuff. Oh my god. Dude, I love Van Graaff thugs. Look at all the stuff that you get. Uh, you can just repair everything. It's so beautiful. It feels so good. Look at that. Mmm! Magnificent. That does it. That's all I need to know. Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs. They were behind burning these caravans, and they've got to answer for them. I'm gonna get some extra ammo, a few bottles of whiskey, and then show them how Cassidy's settle accounts. There's another way we can get evidence, let NCR take them down? Crap, what do I do here? Oh boy, what do I do? I really want to kill them, actually, because um, they're going to have a lot of stuff that we can just take, and it's going to be amazing for an energy weapons character. If we do this, I don't think we can do that. But I also am trying to think, can you do this non-violently? Oh, crap. I'm going to have to divert to the master file. I'll see you all in a second. Damn, everybody. For the 100%, I think my hands are tied here because the Van Graaffs tie to another quest. Oh, uh, I think we have to do the peaceful solution. Trust me, I want to kill them. Everyone's like, oh, Avery should do some frontier justice. Look, I agree, but this is 100%. I, my hands are tied, I think. There's another way. We can get evidence. Let NCR take him down. NCR? Are you out of your fucking mind? That'd take years. And with the war with the Legion, no way they're going to waste time running up the Crimson Caravan or the Van Graffs. The harm to the Van Graffs would last longer and travel back west. All right. 
If you poke around the Van Graffs and Alice, fine. But if I see either one go into their camp, I'm gonna start shooting, no matter what you find. I had other questions. Ask them then. I didn't have other questions. Okay, so yeah, unfortunately my hands are tied here. Trust me, I would just kill the Van Graffs. We'd be able to benefit greatly from it. Um, yeah, but uh, we're going to ruin a quest uh, that comes around later on, I think. I could be wrong. This is so incredibly confusing, but I'm pretty sure. So, investigate the Silver Russian Free Scythe for evidence on the Van Graffs' guilt. Investigate the Crimson Caravan for reasons behind the attack. Well, let's start with the Crimson Caravan since we're liked and we've already done a lot of stuff here. I don't know how this quest plays out this way, by the way, so this is all kind of new territory to me. I think generally I just flat out kill the Van Graffs. It's, I, I, everything kind of converges on just killing the Van Graffs. It's like the easiest way. You get so much out of it, too. It's just who, boy. All right, let's go in here. Hello. Hi. Uh, so I guess... Oh. All right, so we have a safe here. Uh, let's save. We'll just make a new save. I want to not mess all this stuff up if I possibly can. And we'll do this. Uh, oh, do we not have the key? I thought we had the key for this, but I guess not. Are you serious? Where? It's an average lock. Okay. Bro. Thank you. Uh, $100 NCR. Uh, this is all this, all this stuff. Ooh. We'll take that, though. Crimson Caravan Van Graff Agreement. Sounds like exactly what we want. I'll take that. Thank you. We'll leave the uh, NCR dollars. You find any evidence yet? I'm not going to wait forever. Here's the evidence of the deal. Without its twin, there's no proof. So there's just one more safe to crack? Hope you can get to it. Say what you will about the two leading ladies. They watch their lockers like crows. Still, you got one, so the other might not be impossible. If you get both, then let's talk. And I appreciate you putting yourself at risk like this. Thanks. Okay. Uh, not sure how this is going to work. God. My property's a hard boss. Why did they design these quests like this, man? There's so many ways to mess everything up. So for this, we need to bring Cassidy to John Baptiste. And I think what that's going to do, that is going to be... Wait, shoot. Should we actually do it that way? God, this is so confusing. All right, let's make a save. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is... All right, here's what we're going to try. Sure. We're going to try doing it this way. We're going to try doing birds of a feather. Bring Cassidy Girl to John Baptiste. We're going to see if this works. Um... North Gate or South Gate. I keep forgetting which one's closer. It looks like it's closer to this, but I don't know if that's accurate. Let's just see. Yeah, we're going to try it this way. Uh, we need to basic... Oh, my God. My cat climbed up and opened the window behind me because I have something back there that I normally don't, so he's able to get up to the window. And I had never heard that noise nor seen light change behind me. I know this sounds crazy, but... God, that scared the absolute crap out of me. I thought somebody was, like, coming through my window. Anyways, all right, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it out this way um, and see what happens here. Uh, Cass is with me, right? Yeah. So, uh, I, if <laughs> if this doesn't work the way that I think it's gonna work, just know that I tried. Just know that I tried. We could always go back to the other safe too and do it that way if it's gonna be the better way. I am not sure. Mega, mega confusing. All right. Let's head inside. Hello. Cass is with me. Okay. As I live and breathe, Rose of Sharon Cassidy, the late Rose of Sharon Cassidy, was hoping you were on that caravan I massacred. But Crimson Caravan and Van Graffs won't need to worry about you anymore. Wahhabi's well, ours, and we're shutting you down for good. Now, here's where sh stuff gets interesting. Uh, we can just say killer and betrayer. We're not going to do that. You shoot, and you'll regret it. Really? We'll see about that. That did not... Over here. Had enough. Uh... And we failed the actual... Um... 
Okay. That did, uh, that did not work the way that I thought it was going to work. Uh, I thought there was going to be a non-violent option there where we could use our speech to, uh, solve everything. And that is not what happened. So, how the hell do you do this without... I guess we have to just do it this way, the way that I was doing it. Uh, you have to get the evidence and then do the NCR. That's the only way to keep the Van Graphs a lot. Jeez. What a nightmare this quest is to complete for 100%. Am I right? These four quests. There's four quests or quest lines that converge on this. Okay, well, we're going to try to do the other thing then. Um, can we just literally have Cass go in with us and try to find this safe? I don't... It, it'd probably be smarter to have her, but they're not opening fire. I don't know, man. This... <laughs> Yeah, oh, and so, yeah, so now people are going to say, GV, you should have researched this beforehand. Trust me. I researched this beforehand, okay? Just trust me. All right, let's just head in here and see what happens. Hello, gentlemen. Yeah, don't worry about this person behind us. Uh, oh, boy. All right, that's what I was scared about. So we have to get through that door. Okay, we can go through this one, though. Maybe there's another way? Nope, this is a dead end. Hmm. Is this even going to be possible without a stealth boy? Keep Hello. looking at Cass. Keep looking at Cass. Keep looking at Cass. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Come on, man. Work with me, sweet spots. What are you doing? Work with me. Jeez. There we go. Oh, are you serious right now? Okay. All right. I, we have no sneak, so I'm extremely surprised we're able to do this without being detected, but I'll take it, man. Okay, bottle caps, laser rifle focus optics. Uh, yes, letter to Gloria, pre-war money. We're not going to take the rest. You find any evidence yet? I'm not going to wait forever. Here's both pieces of evidence. No shit. There it is. The blood, the motive, as clear as day. They must have penned these with snake venom. But we got it. Now what? Sure, this damns them, but only if someone listens. Anyone you trust in NCR? Well, Jackson and the Mojave Outpost could get it to the folks in the West. I wouldn't trust anyone closer to the Colorado. And the Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs have their heart back West. Not sure it'll do any good, though. After all the shit I went through to get this, we're going to Jackson. All right, let's do it. Listen to what he has to say. Okay, well... Staying low. Yeah, get back into sneak, because I don't know if you realize this, we're in a very dangerous situation. Hello, uh, nice to see you gentlemen. Hey. Hi. Uh, hi. <laughs> uh, come on, Cass. Uh, or, I mean, uh, uh, uh Catherine. <laughs> yeah, we're just... Uh, 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 see, I'll be uh, here for work tomorrow, guys. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's come on, 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 come on. Alrighty, um, heartache by the number. Take the evidence of the caravan attacks of Jackson at the Mojave Outpost, which is all the way down here. Uh, this is a weird way to make it work, but it looks like we have made it work, which makes me very happy. Come on. Alright, Cash, you better give me a good-ass perk for this. You don't know how much trouble this gosh darn... And here's the slice of the world where NCR's hands start slipping. Yeah, I guess that makes, you know, that's fair, sure. You're not Jackson. Hello, Mr. Jackson. Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. Nothing else on the radar at the moment. Um. I have evidence of a caravan conspiracy. What is it? Let me see. All right. This is... This explains a lot of the lost caravans. I thought it was Legion work, but... Can you get it to the right people? I can, if you make me a promise. I need you to swear you won't take revenge on Gloria or Alice. If you do, then your case is over, and we can't see that justice is done. I know some things are hard to let go, but you and Miss Cassidy need to understand that. Hear me? If you can promise it gets where it needs to go. I can promise that. What happens after? 
Not even God himself could move the Congress in or out of session. And this... this is a tricky matter. God, what a mess. People turning against each other when the Mojave's at risk of falling? If the Republic's sinkhole progress doesn't kill us, greed will. Thanks for bringing me this. I know revenge must have been tempting. For what it's worth, I appreciate you didn't shed any more blood. We need to save our strength for the Legion. Just get it to the NCR government. I'll do what I can. And those folks that got killed need to be answered for. Boom, baby. Well, that's settled, I suppose. Chasing the dead with more deaths isn't the way. No. No, I know. Just hard to say how I feel right now. Wait, that's not true. I think the NCR back west, when riled, is going to be the worst enemy the Van Graffs and the Crimson Caravan ever had. They're all so mired in procedure and paper out there. The kind of evidence we gave is going to be worse than shooting them. I think that settles accounts with me and my men. That was some tricky political maneuvering, but worth it, even if it takes a few years. Boom, baby. Cass has given the calm, her a calm heart perk, giving her a permanent help. What? Well, that. Oh, okay. All right then. Oh, I was. Okay, great. We're gonna drop her off, so that's really Controlling the Mojave not the best. But uh, <laughs> all right, let's take a look at that perk. See if it says anything else uh, specific. Calm. Uh, where is it? Uh, I guess she has it. We don't even get it. That's weird. Okay, so she just gets more health, which is absolute. Well, no, it's not useless, because if we actually fight with her, I guess maybe that'll come in handy. It better be a gigantic health increase for it to be worth it on any level, but nevertheless, that's it for Cass. Not sure who this friend of yours is, but if he's looking down on Vegas, he's either God or the moon. Uh, I need you to leave now. It's time for us to part ways. What? No music? I'll hold the tears till I'm gone. I'd like you to go back to the Lucky 38 for now. All right. Don't be long. Robots there give me the creeps. Cass has gone reluctantly to the Lucky 38. That's an interesting thing. You have lost Cass's Whiskey Rose perk. Oh, no. Oh, and she just disappears. I thought they'd run back, but I guess that wouldn't make sense because they have a chance of getting hit and killed. All right, folks, that's Cass's quest done. Um, yeah, I know it's not the most interesting. Well, I mean, what's the alternative? Just shooting them until they're dead? That's very interesting, right? But, you know, like I said, it's going to cause problems later on. So it's it's like, what do you want? Do you want a little bit more interesting stuff right now, or do you want to see all the quests? This is 100% playthrough, so we got to go for the latter option. You know what I mean? Um, thank you so much for watching, and again, I just want to say at the end here, I do appreciate the feedback, I do appreciate the constructive criticism, but I really have thought about it a lot, and I really do think that I have just been asking for it too much, and I don't think it's really as necessary as I found it to be, because, look, I know I can make good videos, um, and I just need to trust myself in doing that, and not worry about all the nitpicking, all the little stuff that I'm like, oh no, do people not like this, do people not like this, I didn't worry about that stuff in previous series, such as, let's 100%, uh, let's 100% Skyrim, and they did really well. So I'm just going to trust myself, focus on the way that I want to make videos, and hopefully it'll make, you know, the best series possible. So thank you for your input, and I do, I still will take constructive criticism. Just don't be, you know, don't take it personally if I don't use it, or if I don't really reply to it. I just think with Let's Plays, there comes so much nitpicking. It always happens. I could make literally the best series that I possibly could make, and there's just going to be nitpicking. There's just going to be people wanting me to play the way that they play their game. That's just not how this works, man. I got to play the way that I want to play. So hopefully that makes some sense. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to the patrons at the end of this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.